If you're on a fishing expedition, you might want to go south. It's a little warmer down there. I'm sure you'll be more productive. Don't look at me. I'm not the one hanging around a frozen pond. Well, you don't hang around at all. Why don't you get lost, man? Leave me alone. No, I don't think so. What do you mean you don't think so? What are you gonna do, hmm? Rustle me to the ground, tie me to a tree? God forbid. Is that what it takes to get you to listen? Go to hell, man. You don't wanna do that. Well, you're right, I don't. The only thing I want is a moment of your time. I may only be your half-brother, but I'm your older half-brother. And if anybody on this planet knows what you're feeling right now, it's probably me. So why don't you just relax and hear me out? Look, brother, we only came to be by some freak action of nature. So don't go join the NAACP just yet. <laughs> Bravo. Well, that was great. You really got that righteous indignation thing down pat, don't you? Get the hell out of my face. I'm gonna say to you. We got a lot to say to each other. The world's a crazy place, Adrian. You know it and I know it. Trust me, things happen. It's best you get on with your life. Why don't you go put that on some t-shirt, Dad? When I'm in Singapore, maybe I'll buy one. But until then, have a nice life. I'm out of here. Oh! No! Fine, go ahead, great. If you want, we can do a whole Cain and Abel floor show right here. It's gonna make you feel better, but I don't think it will. One way or the other, I'm gonna try to make you understand. You're not my keeper. Yeah, well, maybe not, but you're not the only person who woke up swimming in the deep end of the gene pool this morning. And you're certainly not the only person who's ever had his life turned upside down. Yeah, well, you knew your mother. You knew your parents. Yeah. I knew my mother. I knew my father, too. A real sweetheart. Let me draw a picture for you. My first memory is watching him throw Opal through a door. It's no joke. If you spent one day in that house, you'd understand exactly why she did what she did. Yo, I understand. It's a little hard to blend in when you got a brown-skinned baby boy in your arms. Oh, Adrian, don't be a fool. You were her child and she loved you. That's why she left you in that cabin, so you'd stand a better chance at life. Oh, yeah, and she took you so you wouldn't? No, she took me because she didn't have a choice. She made her choice, man. Don't you get it? That's not what happened. You were the lucky one, not me. You got the family, the home. No booze, no violence, no going to bed at night listening to the sound of dear old dad beat the hell out of mama, wondering whether or not if you woke up in the morning it was gonna be your turn. Don't feel sorry for yourself in front of me. You didn't get a raw deal. Only chance of happiness I ever got is when he threw me out of a, a car in a state park. I got a, a broken arm in the bargain, but it was worth it because if he hadn't, I probably wouldn't be here right now. And I was his son, his own flesh and blood. What the hell do you think he would have done to you? She saved your life when she left you with Frank. You were lucky from day one. Yeah, well, congratulations, Mr. Happy Life. Opal is absolved from any and all wrongdoing. Yeah, she saved us both from that idiot she married. She knew her place, she knew mine. So we're all one big happy family now. My place is as far away from Pine Valley as I can get. You're a hypocrite. Yeah. You're a hypocrite and you know it. This isn't about your abandonment issues. You can't deal with the fact that your mother is white. What's wrong, Adrian? Did I strike a nerve? Oh, you want to play the race card? How unabashedly liberal of you. Yeah, it bothers me. It bothers me that the woman who raised me, who taught me about myself and about my culture, isn't my real mother. In fact, I find out that my real mother is a white woman who abandoned me for some redneck. Yeah, it bothers me that my parents lied to me about them, about me, about my so-called rich heritage. You're damn right it bothers me. Go ahead, I'm listening. When I was six years old, my mother took me to Decatur to introduce me to her people. I find out I got a whole extended family, aunts, uncles, cousins, you name it. They were great, man. I loved them. I still do. But you know what? They're not my family. They're Alice's family. Adrian, they're still your family. Right. My family's a father who lied to me my whole life and a mother I never knew I had. 
and some little kid that's a half Cortland and a smug know-it-all jerk named Thaddeus Martin. You know, but somehow that doesn't seem to balance out. Well, you're no bowl of goodies for me either, Adrian. But I'm not gonna stand around and shake my fist in the air blaming Mama for my bad luck. I'm gonna get on with my life. Fact is, she loves you and she's falling apart right now. She's back at the house with your father worried sick. What do you mean, back at the house with my dad? My dad is in Pine Valley now? Opal told him. Look, I'm not saying you don't have the right to be angry. Anything but. All I'm saying is whether you like it or not, they are your parents. Those are the cards you were dealt. Now that you know the truth, maybe you'll realize that they were only doing the best they could at the time. Adrian Opal's not perfect. But she is your mother. Please. Don't make her suffer any more than she already has. Look, if you've risked my son's life by leaking this story, I'll break you in half. Don't, Mr. Dawson. He's baiting you. Both of you, he's just trying to provoke you. How to break your neck. Is that a threat? Listen, let it go. He's only going to use it against Opal in court. Yeah, sounded like a threat. Ex-lover threatens Tycoon. Well, perhaps I should call the intruder. I, I'm sure they'd love to do a follow-up. Oh. How about this? TV personality throttles Tycoon. It's not an idle threat, Palmer. Don't think I won't do it. <laughs> Did you find Adrian? Yeah. Not sure I did much good, but just so the day is not a total waste, I think I'll do something I should have done a long time ago. <coughs> you wouldn't dare lay hands on me. Oh, it's going to take a lot more than that for me to throw your gnarly old butt out on the street, PC. You wouldn't dare. Watch me. I just did, Palmer. Let me in! Not time to take out the trash anyway. Well, he ought to thank you. You can't do I mean, this! You probably saved him from getting punched. I tell you, I was Don't one second this, away. Ted. Oh, he's not safe just yet. That didn't take long. You think he's giving up? Palmer? Give up? He doesn't know the meaning of the word. You know, you make a lot of trouble, make a lot of noise for an old guy. But that buck stops now, because you've hurt me and my family for the very last time. <laughs>